Okay, so we are live. Let me share. So I don't know if you notice I changed the URL of my like Facebook streaming page. Oh, you did? I need to update it then. What is it now? Now it's uh, Good News George Live. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Because uh, previously it was GNG streaming. I thought, mm -hmm. like, I don't know, it didn't sound so nice. But then uh, GNG live was already taken. So, I don't know by who. I mean, yeah, in fact, let me check. GNG live. Someone that's not even using Bucket. <laughs> There's a company Indicate called it. GNG Media Films. I wonder what it stands for. It's in a country called Na Nagawar. N A G A U R. I have not heard. City in the state of India. Okay. Yeah. I hate it when that happens, right? When someone uses your name and they're not even using it. Like, why? I guess they're sitting on it. Yeah, well, I'm not going to give them money. I'm poor. <laughs> so it's good news, George, live. Yeah. I see that you have a uh, user icon yeah. <laughs> of your face. <laughs> <laughs> Embedded in a very uh, gaming body. Oh, it's uh, actually a comic, well, manga that I've been reading recently. It's called Berserk. Mm. Oh. Yeah, it's it's so fucking good. Like, I I started, I think, uh, two weeks ago or a week ago. Mm -hmm. And I've been obsessed since. It's like everything I enjoy in comics. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's like dark and then there's humor. The art's really good. And like the story is interesting as well. Is it a, a Japanese one? Mm hmm But I read translated, of course. You mean you didn't read it before this? No, I didn't. Oh. I, I saw the anime on Netflix. Uh-huh. Yeah, I mean, I know about it because Andre reads it, but then I saw the anime on Netflix, and yeah. I decided to stream it. Oh, is the anime good? I don't know. I haven't seen the anime. Uh, yeah, the anime is pretty good. Yeah. But then, like, uh, I think they... It's only one they arc end... or something. Yeah, yeah, it's only one arc, so it's like... Yeah. yeah. But, but yeah, I read like, all the wiki and all that. Yeah. Oh, okay. I got into it because uh, apparently Dark Souls was very inspired by it. And so, like, yeah, reading it felt like... You, you could see like, where all the Dark Souls inspirations came from. And that, that was what initially drew me in. And then uh, I found out, like, it was super well done, and I really liked it. So yeah, I've been reading it. But the artist died earlier this year, so uh, the story is unfinished. But the publisher announced that they might continue it, but we'll see. Nothing's confirmed yet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But it's sad, right? When an author of a work you like dies before they finish it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, I mean, I guess if he left his notes or something, it could be done. But it's not like the true continuation that would have been carried out. Yeah. Gosh, he died quite young. He died at age 54. Yeah. Apparently he was overstressed or something. I don't know. Mm. <laughs> Uh, it says here a acute aortic dissection, which is pretty metal. It's like when your the aorta of the heart is like burst open. Uh huh. Yeah. More common in men than women. Yeah. Do a lot of like, I don't know. I see, usually a lot of diseases. <laughs> excuse me. Like I see men die more frequently than women to it mm -hmm. is, is that a thing or is just uh confirmation bias 
I don't know, but I know that the lifespan of women is usually longer. Uh huh. Is that a reason? Why women live longer? Yeah. I don't know. I think that you can yeah. speculate, but it's very hard to say because it's like you know, this is all beyond reproductive age anyway. Mm-hmm. There are all these memes about that, like men doing stupid things. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I mean, that's true. No women do stupid things too. Yeah, we do, uh, but our stupid yeah. things don't tend to kill us as often. <laughs> we we more more like a slow burn situation. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, oh, actually, speaking of like, um, <laughs> like uh, Facebook and things like that. Um, so I was I was checking our anchor. Mm-hmm. Uh, so for well, viewers who don't know, we're all, well, we're, we're like semi cross like platform. I haven't finished uploading all the episodes yet, still. But um, uh, anchor is like a way for us to distribute to all the podcasts. Um, uh. I don't know what you call it. Hosting services? Yeah. Actually, I don't, I don't know if they even considered that because they're not hosting anything. Are they? They do. Question mark? Oh, okay. Yeah, so it's like a distribution service. And yeah, like, I mean, you know, I was checking. Yeah. yeah. And then I was checking, like, you know, what's our stats and stuff. And uh-huh. then we have, like, uh, wait, which one go? So that's what won't load right now, but it said it had, like, like uh, oh, there you go, 147 plays. Which was much higher than I thought. Wow. Yeah. And then, like, um, so, like, the, the last episode, episode 33, got 21 plays. Okay. Who's listening? Exactly. Who is listening? So, so. I, of course, I don't <laughs> get that, like, detailed level of information. Uh-huh. Um, but it's actually somewhat, like, it says here that 81% of listeners are in the United States in, uh-huh. on Anchor. Uh-huh. Yeah, ten percent Malaysia, five percent Germany, two percent India, and less than one percent Algeria. <laughs> I think th- does it track like how long they listen, or it's just one play? Oh, like this, it was just one click, right? Yeah. Um, it could have been an accident. Let's see here. Does anyone listen the, all the way? I don't know what I can really see that about drama, so they click it. <laughs> yeah, well, it's maybe some people who are like missing Malaysia, so they want anything Malaysian, <laughs> and then they found our podcast. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't, I I have to see how like how does Anchor define play. So I think even if the episode automatically downloads, mm-hmm. it also counts that as a play. Because okay. it's like, I guess uh, it would be creepy if uh, the podcast app reports back whether something was played or not, because technically that's a little mm-hmm. privacy violating, I guess. <laughs> I, mean, I, think it's I wonder if like, they have all these Spotify. stats on how, how you click, you know, like YouTube. Like, do you, if, like, if you skip through the video, does it count, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not sure about YouTube, but like Facebook has metrics for that. They'll show... If you skip... Yeah, they'll show like the, the timeline oh. of the video and then they see like how many people watch and then where it started to mm. go down. Oh. Mm-hmm. Mm. So wow, we use that to determine like how long our content should be. So like a lot of our long content doesn't do well. Majority of people like tune out by like 10 minutes. Mm. Yeah. That's why you see a lot mm-hmm. of uh, YouTube, like not just YouTube, but like online video creators, you know, they they tend to keep things short. So people watch all the way. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. But, you know, I thought it was pretty neat. Also, yeah. I guess it's a sign I need to finish uploading so that everyone's <laughs> just not, like, while listening to the last episode, which was a while back. Yeah. But then, I like, you know, so then I was like, okay, I, what I got stuck on was, like, it was so tedious to upload, to download every single file and then re-upload them, convert them um, using a tool. Mm-hmm. So so then I was trying to figure out if there's a like one of those like con- online YouTube downloaders that will work for the entire playlist. So I can just give them your YouTube playlist and yeah. have it automatically do that. But they are all lies. Oh, <laughs> really? They're lies? They don't work. Oh. I don't know. The one I found doesn't did work. So I was annoyed. I only downloaded <laughs> the first one. I was like, come on. That's okay. not what you get to like download manually. 
Yeah, so I actually I already have um, some of them on my computer, but yeah, it's just like a very tedious process to download manually and then re-upload to Anchor. And also Anchor only allows me to upload one at a time. Mm. So I have to like sit there and wait. And it's not fast. It's like <laughs> a good like 15 minutes per upload. Oh, uh, it'd be better if you could like, upload all at once and then they queue it for you manually uh, by themselves. Yeah, exactly. I don't understand then- why they don't allow that. Maybe they don't want people like uploading like entire libraries at once and like it'll tax their yeah. servers. Yeah. I know. Possible. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it just makes it so tedious. So I'm still like, I don't know, trying to figure out can I outsource this? Can I pay a personal assistant to do it I'm for sure me? I'm sure you can <laughs> write a script. Oh, to do it? Yeah. I don't know, but Anchor doesn't really have an API though. Hmm. So it wasn't very straightforward. Maybe so. Some... I did think about it. I even look on Zapier, Zapier, like to see if someone um has made a workflow. Mm-hmm. It's like an automation tool for business. Oh, and they mm-hmm. have a lot like, of really cool workflows. But then I was looking for like YouTube and Anchor, and I didn't see anything that would help me. Like, what kind of workflows would you use it for? Uh, well, like this is one application, but yeah. like um, there's a lot of people who do. Um, I was looking into this for for my nonprofit, like um, G Sheet to okay. paypal or paypal to g sheet so it uh-huh. just automatically dumps the data in or something like that oh okay and then like um so one of the uh write a passage writing program students works at zapier and i i edited his essay so then i was like oh actually that's how i found it. i was like oh maybe i should check out zapier so it totally worked as a promotional essay <laughs> um but his like thing is about how like technically you can build an entire business using Zapier. This podcast is not sponsored by Zapier. I'm just not talking yet. about it. <laughs> <laughs> not yet. Yeah, like it's it's like saying that you know oh if you're in sales then like you can um you know build a customer relationship management tool based on Zapier. Like mm-hmm. you can piece all the pieces together. But I feel like if you knew how to do that, I don't know whether like you would do that business anymore. You just make Zapier tools for everyone or something. So it's, it's like, and you know, and it's a very extreme cases. They say it's like, I make millions of dollars using only Zapier. <laughs> like, I don't think that's realistic for the average person. <laughs> yeah. So I'm sure you can. I'm just like, I, I feel like as a, someone who doesn't use it, I need more like, you know, easier examples yeah. of things that can like automate my life, you know? And there's people who, um, they have like a whole database of like Zapier professionals who can like help you build the workflow for you. Mm-hmm. So there's a whole marketplace of people who know how to use this tool. Okay. Yeah. So I guess you can explore popular ways to you to use it and then like, oh yeah. So for an example is like if you have some content you want to share across all the platforms, mm-hmm. then this is one way you can just like one click and do that. Uh, or like um yeah add leads save files to the cloud i don't know i feel like maybe i can do the youtube thing i just haven't figured it out yet is zapier like a front end or uh, a language or what i i guess it's some sort of front end for like all the apis in the background or something okay yeah um da, da, da. sounds interesting I'll look it up yeah, it's a translator between APIs. Zapier. Easiest way to automate your work. Actually, it might be pronounced Zapier. Zapier. Because if it's a API, if that wasn't the name, then maybe it's Zapier. <sighs> Zap- Once I was at this um, like uh, product management like event or something, it was like a monthly event, and I chatted with this guy who worked at Zapier, and he also lives in a van and does rock climbing okay so he just like works remotely and i was like, like oh, that's cool. a, the dream life man <laughs> yeah that's pretty cool he's like you yeah but so the company is all all remote <laughs> i know <laughs> all remote uh, and it was just before pandemic too yeah so it was very unique at the time oh uh. <laughs> nice hoodie, oh by did the way. you guys see hmm? nice hoodie oh Thank you. I wear this a lot. <laughs> but they don't make it like this anymore. Okay, so this hoodie, I was trying to order one in a different color. Uh-huh. And then when it came, I was very disappointed because they changed the material. It became oh. crappier. 
Well, yeah. you need to break it in. Times are hard. I know. No, it didn't. I mean, when I bought this, it's always already quite soft. Um, and then the stars glow in the dark. <clears> oh, <throat> which I would not demonstrate. <laughs> it's <just> very stupid. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, you were saying? So, what was I saying? Oh, rock. speaking of rock climbing, Masterclass now has a rock new climbing? class with Alex Honnold. Yeah. Oh, um, I didn't know you were still who, subscribed. I thought it expired already. Oh, I it is expired. Um, I'm subscribed to the YouTube channel oh, okay. with the trailers to tempt me. <laughs> <laughs> but do you think it's worth it uh, like, after like the the year subscription? I know it's expensive, but the the thing is, they always get to have that exclusive content. And then, okay, I looked on on that that you know pirate ship, and like the not a thing I want to watch are not ripped by anybody. Oh, uh, <laughs> aka Amy Tan. So <laughs> Amy Tan as a masterclass. Yeah. <laughs> Don't you want to watch an Amy Tan masterclass? Not really. <laughs> <laughs> How to make students uh, dislike literature. <laughs> I know, right? How I do wonder we if there's any for uh, a generation. I wonder if there was anyone in our year who actually enjoyed Joy Luck Club. I don't know. <laughs> I don't sure if I, I, I feel if like... I read it by myself, <laughs> would I have enjoyed it? The thing is, you like probably wouldn't have even like have read it me. by yourself. Uh, it's... yeah, probably not. <laughs> It's a very American. I feel like people who are ABC love it though. Like, Which is, I guess, it, it I guess, really resonates with them. And we're no, like, huh? like the, <laughs> no, but then like the more Asian stuff resonates with us. You know, like mm-hmm. we, we know. Like, they we relate more with and, the mom. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but nobody in like GIS was ABC, right? I don't think. Yeah. I don't know. No one. I can't. No pre- one. I don't think. I guess if you are ABC, it. you would go to um, Alice Smith. Montero, yeah, Alice Smith, one know. of the other schools. Yeah. <laughs> GIS was full of Malaysians. <laughs> seriously, is is it because it was like one of the last schools that allowed Malaysian people in, or something? No, it was one of the cheaper international schools back then. But isn't there another rule that says if you're yeah, there was the rule for a while, they took it. But then, I mean, they implemented that, and then after that, they took it away. Oh, they did. Okay. After after a while, yeah. Mm. Well, I mean, when I look at the GIS website, it no longer looks very cheap. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> it I looks think it's like five luxurious. figures a month. Uh, not a month. Five figures a semester now. Yeah, wow. I would be surprised. Uh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, I was trying to see whether there's a master class that George will be interested in. Because like uh, I was like searching comics and then and then um what popped up was Neil Gaiman. But besides that, is there any other master class? Hmm. James Cameron teaches filmmaking. Hmm. I feel like now they actually teach you anything. Like at least I know, not they the, don't. Not in the like, all right, so you need to do this and do that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's more like I'll tell you how I did it. This this is my thought process. Yeah. 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 I mean, I mean it's fine. You can learn it. It's that fine, way but then like for what they charge you for the subscription. Mm-hmm. Seems mm-hmm. like a lot of money just to hear someone's opinion. Mm. Yeah. It's so well shot though. It's like I like I appreciate the, yeah. the filmography <laughs> more than the actual <laughs> content. Um they're coming soon. Metallica, how to be a band. <laughs> Yo Yo Ma, how to have music and connection. Uh Indian food by Madhur Jaffrey. I know not, her face, not I actually bad, don't know though. her food. They've been together for like so long. Metallica? Yeah. That's true. Yeah. I guess if anyone knows how to be a band that stays together. Yeah. <laughs> well, they did kick out the previous bases, but... but that was like ages ago. Like mm-hmm. they kept the, that the, was the what, guy. That was Saint Anger. That wasn't yeah. that long ago. Saint Anger was like mm-hmm. college days. Dude, that's like almost mm-hmm. twenty years ago. It's damn long. 
I mean, they had been around longer, right? Before that. I guess. Actually, I don't even know their timeline. Let's have a look. Let's see. Sin Anger was in 2003. So it's like 18 years ago. They came out 1981. So, yeah. So for half half the band's yeah, existence, they kept, yeah. they kept the same basis. So it's pretty good. <laughs> yeah. People have and I feel shorter like... marriages. <laughs> <laughs> that's true but I think when you're a successful band it's easier to stay together mm-hmm. as opposed to like a new or uh, struggling band yeah I don't know I feel like as a new band you'll be more idealistic like no we start this together we'll finish it together you know yeah but, but then when you're like so successful then it's like no uh, I own 13% of the song you know, <laughs> why you need mm-hmm. me 11% of royalties <laughs> yeah weren't they I remember like they were really like on the news because they were mad at Napster yeah the yeah they were <laughs> it's why I always like associate them with now like anti <laughs> me too and I still <laughs> like their music I'm like they I mean, had a lot of issues with are quite copyright but like for some mm-hmm. reason like they they made a bigger deal out of it yeah I mean they I mean they, they were public with it yeah but they were proactive about it instead of just resigning. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, I don't I don't know. I don't know how much of it helped though. Oh. I guess it kept them well, in the spotlight all the years they didn't release anything. <laughs> yeah. I remember back then downloading you know no yeah, when I was trying to rip the Saint Anger uh C D. Like the I think that copy protection. So it couldn't oh. rip mm-hmm. properly. Yeah. Because I used to buy CDs and rip them, you know, back then when I didn't have broadband. So I would have MP3s on my computer as well as the physical CDs. But then even then was like some some uh, labels, they had copy protection to prevent that from happening. Like you would rip songs and then they would have skips in them. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I, I I'm not sure. I think it was in college I learned about about this where I think one of the lecturers said like one of the anti piracy things they did was they nicked the other side of the C D. Yeah. Yeah. It, so it's, like, it'll only, be small enough that the players won't pick it up. But... Yeah, like most record players probably won't pick it up, but then like computer C D yeah. ROMs well. Mm-hmm. What? That's BS. Yeah. <laughs> Anti piracy. Mm-hmm. Well, that was a different world. Now we're in the streaming world. Yep. Do you guys pay for Spotify? No, right. We pay for Apple Music. <clears throat> oh yeah, 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 yeah. My Mac sister boy. pays for Spotify, which I use occasionally. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I have a friend who who works at Spotify. Sometimes we discuss why I refuse to pay. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard when I already pay for YouTube. And then, you know, YouTube music sucks, but it comes with it. So I don't want to pay for another thing. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, what, what, what do you subscribe to? Well, what I actually use, I subscribe to is YouTube. <laughs> I think I have a lot of random subscriptions I might have forgotten. You made the, the YouTube... Is it premium? Is it... Yeah, YouTube premium, so I don't see the ads. Because YouTube ads oh. are so... Oh, so it, uh, it comes with YouTube music as a result? Yes. Oh. So are then you... it feels like a better deal. Because it's, it's like $11, $12. It's not that cheap. I use yeah. Adblock. Wait. <laughs> but on the phone, it can isn't it, isn't it, you isn't can. it cheap, though? Like, isn't like Spotify like also around 10 bucks a month? Or is it less? Um, I'm I don't remember. Maybe yeah, like a dollar or two less or something. Let's Google mm. Spotify price. Yeah, because I know like most of them are like priced similarly because they want to be competitive, right? It's uh, mm-hmm. I didn't know like title tried to be special because it's like oh, audio file quality streams. Right. Yeah, we we're kind of talking about it, and then um, 
What was I think? Oh yeah, and then she was like, "Don't you like the discover pl- customized like playlist customized to your taste?" Or why they like try to guess what you would like to listen to? Yeah. <laughs> and then I was like, "No, I'm too old. I don't want to listen to mu- new music. I want to listen to the same songs over and over again." Yeah, yeah that's what I do too. To me. I just listen to listening to like old songs. No, once exactly. in a while they have this good so recommendations sad. though. But, yeah. yeah, but it's like know. so rare, you know. Yeah, it is rare, I don't know, I thought, you know. But I, I often wondered: is it because my my brain is just so like you know unelastic that I don't want to listen to new things and new things sound <laughs> bad to me, or is it because like the recommender is not that good? I think you have to use it more, so it, it oh, so gives it you me. better. Yeah, but I think it depends who's recommending it to you. Mm. Um, I thought it's like automatic and stuff. Like it's no, no, AI but I mean, something. like, like, uh, if a friend recommended to you, like, will you value it higher than, like, uh, algorithm? Oh, that's a good point. And, and I think like it's also like when a friend like George recommends me a song, it's like a song. It's not overwhelming, you know. Whereas Spotify is like, here's an entire playlist for your full day, and I'm like, no, that's too much new stuff. I can't <laughs> handle it. Like, like. <laughs> Like in like music college, like uh, they did, they play a lot of jazz, right? So I didn't really know much about it. So like mm-hmm. uh, people would recommend, and then I would listen because like they were really, uh, like all my classmates and like lecturers really good musicians. So mm-hmm. I really respected like their opinion. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So like it made, it made me more accepting to the genre, you know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Versus like a uh, algorithm, which I don't know. So far, like, Apple Music has been a bit disappointing on that. So does Apple Music do recommendations too? Yeah, yeah, they do. But then, uh, I don't know. I, I've, I, I don't know how Spotify's recommendations are like, but Apple's one is very, uh, uh, what's the term for it? Very obvious. Like, if I listen to K-pop, mm-hmm. then all their recommendations are all K-pop. You know, there's like, it's like, oh, you like mm-hmm. this broad genre. He has everything about this genre, you know? Mm. Yeah, As opposed yeah. to like, oh, I like, I like this band. I like this particular <laughs> sound. Then, yeah. you know, then they will recommend that similar kind. No, but no, it's, it's, it feels more general, yeah. Mm-hmm. I think Spotify uh, one's mm-hmm. better probably because they collect your data. A lot of people link it to Facebook. Oh. Yeah. yeah. And so but I like the Spotify's like uh the mood one, the mood playlist. Mm-hmm. Oh. I, the, the activity one, like oh I feel like I feel like focusing today. Yeah. So I'll play the focus playlist. Hey, those are pretty good. Usually like I find yeah. a lot of nice songs there. Yeah. I, I agree. Like the, the focus and the mood ones are pretty good. I used to feel like that's that. what I would miss <laughs> that library. Yeah, yeah. yeah that, that was before that was before I discovered the the the, the, the what's study it? girl. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the study girl, low fi <laughs> girl. Yeah. <laughs> <Low-fi> girl. <laughs> yeah, I think that's the doubt. Like the thing about these mood playlists is that like they are so like in the background that they're interchangeable to me. Like sadly, mm. I'm like all oh, the hop, the station, the low fi girl, and study girl are almost the same. Like the only difference yeah. is the little. I mean, but sometimes that's what you want, right? Well, at least for me, lah. If I want background music, yeah, yeah, I don't want it to distract me at all. Right. Yeah. So, like, there are also these, like, new startups that based on, like, productivity music, like, Brain FM and, and like, Endel and things like that, that claim that through the magic of neuroscience, like, where you can play beats that are binaural or whatever and, like, can make you more productive. Have you guys tried those? No. no. Huh. <laughs> Maybe I should. I've been telling Singit yeah. I've been burnt out at work. Brain FM. Well, I think you think you just need to like not work. <laughs> <laughs> well, but if you want to squeeze a few more like precious brain cells, then yeah, there's a lot of those. <laughs> oh, yeah. But yeah, uh, speaking, I mean, like, al- uh, speaking of algorithms, that they like came across an article where China said they want to start regulating algorithms. Mm-hmm. So it's quite interesting. Oh, and also video games. Yeah, video games. Right? I saw that one. Yeah. Well, I mean, video I games video is games. like, you can argue like video games are like, you know, bad for kids or whatever. But then like, I don't know, algorithm feels so neutral. Like, uh, it's like trying to say like, I, mean, I want to regulate how you think, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I, that's the end goal. <laughs> yeah, I yeah. guess. 
No, but the I don't games know. one I... is super weird. Like, I I saw the like a translated version of the message that was going around. Like, there was a presentation yeah. about it, mm-hmm. and then they were banning all sorts of weird stuff, like no no uh, gays, no skulls. Yeah, uh, not not just that. Then uh, they were also doing stuff like you you can't you know uh, like try to hide fake history like you can't use like metaphors or whatever fake stories to hide a uh, retelling of history mm-hmm. also you can't like have a hidden meaning if yeah yeah story. they what? don't want that yeah especially like if it goes against history and then they don't want mm-hmm. you to be evil you like they mm-hmm. don't want you to play the bad guy mm-hmm. i mean also, like those are i don't know i mean like those aren't bad things like you don't want people to distort history and want people to like just generally play good characters but then i don't know i feel like making a law like uh kind of feels oppressive i mean i guess it's it only uh governs the games that will be sold in china la. so if people don't want to sell in the china market then they but don't they, have to follow but rules. i mean it is like one of the biggest yeah, markets that's, in the that's world, the so... main issue it's the market well, is so you big, need to say like so... oh you don't want to sell in china they don't sell but it then, does like, stifle creativity know. yeah I guess people can yeah. just release like two versions of the game or something. <laughs> like like the day I think I saw like they said uh they don't want men to be at least not related to the games, but they don't want men to look too feminine. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It was in the game like, thing too, yeah. Like Oh is it? Yeah. Like if you can't so you tell can't have... that the character is a guy re- right away, like they can't have that. Oh, yeah, you kind of pretty boys, basically. I thought like, <laughs> I thought, like China is like making. I don't know, right? Market out pretty it's... boys. So. <laughs> no, they don't like the fact that the world is uh going towards like all these K-pop pretty boys and all. They want the manly men, the soldiers and all that to come back. But oh. are there like are there actually like manly men? Chinese pop groups because I feel like all the Chinese pop groups that I know like are not exactly <laughs> no no but, but that's because so like, I mean, if yeah. there were like positive examples I would like to know yeah. no that's why that's why they want to bring back the manly men yeah because there are yeah. too many of these uh, feminine I mean I would like more variety I think I think that's not actually not a bad thing yeah <laughs> I, I mean they're I mean, yeah, just catering to what people want like you know like yeah if people seem to enjoy these kind of Mm-hmm. aesthetics right so that's what yeah. they sell right? oh yeah there was a nobita from japan video about like what japanese people find attractive that was like touching on this point because he was explaining that like you know japanese women don't want manly men they want like you know men who are clean and then also like you know more um i don't want to say feminine features but like softer features right mm. yeah yeah so I don't know. We'll we'll see if there's any changes. But I, I was also features. wonder with these rules. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, I have no angle to my face. <laughs> I have soft hands. <laughs> <sighs> yeah. I mean, like, there's always these like rules and stuff, but like, dude, what actually changes? You know, I, I do wonder. Mm-hmm. Like, isn't, it like, isn't with... it like kind of funny? Like, what men think girls want, and what girls think men want. Are like different. Oh right, and what, what they, they what everybody actually, actually wants. Want. Yeah. <laughs> like, 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 I think a lot of guys want to look buff and all that, right? Mm-hmm. Then, like, they think that's what girls want, but then, like, you know, like that Nobita Japan video is like that's not what they want. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then, like, uh, men, did girls think like men want like girls look a certain way, but then, you know, some of them don't. Like, oh, they like they think like girls need to have a lot of makeup, but then a lot of guys like to say like, oh no, I hate girls with a lot of makeup. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, that, yeah. that's a very, that that particular point though is more like guys hate girls with obvious makeup. But like, <laughs> you guys can't even tell. <laughs> it's well done. Uh, <laughs> that's true. Uh, Perhaps. Uh, yeah. Okay. So. Oh yeah, so like this month we've been doing draw. Oh, actually, before we move on, uh-huh. I I want to show off, but it's so sad. I haven't even opened it. Oh, 
Wait, didn't you have the even... iPhone 12? Yeah, I'm trading it in. Oh, um, directly to Apple? No, to AT&T. Oh, okay. Yeah. How I'm still waiting for a trade-in box. Where is it? 1,000? Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah. Isn't that like a, just a few hundred bucks less than what you paid? Or is it, is it the same? I'm sure I'm getting screwed somewhere. Okay, I don't understand the math. <laughs> because it's, <laughs> also, I was, I've been paying in monthly installments. <laughs> Remember the last conversation? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Like, you know, like last time, last time in Australia with my friend, when I first went there for my MBA, like mm-hmm. I met one of my classmates decided to buy a car like the like the first week he was there, right? Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. And then like, I was like, why are you buying a car? You're only going to be here for about one and a half years, right? Mm-hmm. Then he was like, yeah, but... um. It's convenient, and then if I do leave, right, then I'll just sell it off, and then mm-hmm. whatever uh, I lose is I consider it like the rent I paid la, for renting the yeah. car for uh-huh. X duration, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. So I think this is. I mean, even if you lose out a bit, I think it's fair for you getting like a brand new phone, you know. Yeah, and then like the the sad part is, so Lewis, my friend, also got a phone. And then he hasn't received his yet, but we we were on this like hunt for the best iPhone case obsession, <laughs> which is a very sad you find like, polio thing to do. Oh my god, it's so hard because like like because of the speaking of China, the global supply chain issues. A lot of these companies they used to be all like ready, right? By the time you get your phone, they already like have the cases for sale. But a lot of the usual companies don't have them in stock. It's like pre order or like shipping later. Mm-hmm. So like the D brand one that I was linking you guys, it's like already this pushed back to November, oh. and like um yeah the and then the usual suspects like Rebel I think is another good one that's also like late, so I ended up like going with this one called like I want to say Gorilla Grip or some some stupid name like that uh-huh. um that's recommended by Wirecutter yeah which I've never tried before oh yeah and the other issue is that a lot of these phone cases are not MagSafe. So like now like the Apple phone like oh. comes with the thing, right? But like a lot of the cases, even SpyGen, like you would think is a pretty reputable company, but then if you like read the reviews, like in the photo they'll imply that like you can charge it on the thing. <laughs> like, you know, no no charge, no problem. But actually they don't work. <laughs> or they like, they will cut out in and out because it's like too thick or something. No, you can put it so, on the like, pad, you just have to connect the cable. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and I'm just like, well, this is some some BS. So no, no, sorry, yeah, I like, like it's easier everywhere. just to buy buy official. Yeah, so way. so that's what that's what Lewis went with. He was like, ah, screw it. I'm just gonna get the official leather one. Mm-hmm. But yeah. then like I don't like like leather because I just make it dirty right away. And then like I also don't like silicone because I I hate the feeling of it. So so yeah, so that's why I went with this other one. Yeah. But. Yeah, like, you know, now I didn't open it, dare to open it because I don't have the case. Oh. <laughs> I also don't have the glass protector. <sighs> I was like, oh, it's like, it's like, I can't, it'll be naked. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I also got this, like, pop socket, like, oh. slideable yeah. pop socket thing. I don't know whether it's, like, janky or not, but, like, because of this, I cannot have it right here, right? Yeah. And then there is like a magnetic type that just like sticks on. But then I thought, oh, that's like you know, still kind of inconvenient. Sounds dangerous. Yeah. <laughs> so so there's it, another one that up. like grips it, and then uh, has the pop socket. But I'll just see whether it's very right bulky or not. But the advantage of the grip like sliding one is you can like make it lower as well or something like that. Mm. So I don't know. I feel like I'm very torn because I remember the brief period when I had like a, the original pop socket. I thought, oh, this is so janky, but I actually use it a lot. It's actually very helpful for holding the phone. <laughs> yeah, but I don't like this the fact that you can't lie it flat anymore. Socket. At least on the back. Yeah, you can never fly flat, so that's yeah. the downside. But it's like, do you? I don't know. Like right now, when I'm like not using it, I have it on the a Mac Safe stand, so it's like, like. You know, facing oh, which me, you stand know? do you get? Oh, this is like some Amazon one. What? But then, oh. like, it ha- I have to it's use just, the official should, Apple. You should see the Grove Mate one. You seen it? No, is it cool? It's really cool. But so expensive. It doesn't come with the charger either. <laughs> <laughs> Grove Mate MagSafe. Alternatively, you can look at Native Union if you prefer that aesthetic. 
Ooh. That does look very cool. Oh my god, it's $120 for just a stand? Yeah. For a piece of wood. <laughs> for a piece go of wood? Out, uh, go check out Native Union. Uh, I think it's a little bit cheaper. Native Union. Ever since I clicked the ad, oh. I keep getting ads for it now on Instagram. <laughs> Ooh, I like how it's the phone with a little strap. That's cool. Shop by device. Yeah, the stand looks nice though. But okay, so this is a a different kind of aesthetic. <laughs> yeah. Oh, what is this click pop thing? Oh, it allows you to put the little strap on. Yeah, these are aesthetic. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, the, the, the wooden stand is like a bit much. Mm -hmm. Ooh, they're wooden cases though. <laughs> but I feel like uh, what if your like your palm oils get into it and then like becomes ugly? That's part of the patina. <laughs> oh, then what are the wood rods? <sighs> I, I hope they use like hardwood. But yeah, let me uh, uh, I mean I let think me, uh, link this to, to Lewis to make him tempted. The MagSafe will be like... You won't use it anymore by the time it rots. Uh, I think you probably change phones before yeah. it starts rotting in you. Or there'll be like mm. a new technology then. <laughs> okay. <sighs> yeah. So uh, I don't know. Now now I feel like I made the wrong choice. I'm looking at these and I'm like, oh, these are beautiful. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, I've been like um, <laughs> decluttering again. I don't know if I guess notice that the background is actually slightly less messy than before. <laughs> like, uh, but but like Johan's, <laughs> Johan's uh, away like hiking and stuff, so I can finally touch all her things and uh -huh. be like, ah, oh, I'll hide all her mess. <laughs> but yeah, so so but then I gathered all my decoration items just to see how many things I have that are like just purely decorational, and I realized that these look re like really nice if I lived in a log cabin and not in a studio apartment. <laughs> <laughs> so I feel like I've been decorating, but just not appropriate for this home. So now I feel like that, like, wooden phone case like, fits that aesthetic. But that's your personality, you know, like, like your your design choices is your personality. You know? mm -hmm. I yeah. must express it through a very expensive phone case. <laughs> uh, how much is the case? Is it expensive? Actually, I don't know. It looks expensive. Let's see. I don't here. know. I think the stand is so expensive already. Yeah. Uh, shop. Uh, did they even make it? Their website makes it very hard to shop. So, like, when mm -hmm. you do buy stuff, you like you appreciate it more. <laughs> uh, it took me so long to yeah. find this thing. You know? I yeah. buy it before I forget how to buy it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not even sure. Do they even make it? I feel like they show it in that one like photo of like a whole bunch of phone cases, but I don't even see it. All right. Let's see. Maybe it's uh, too long. Yeah. They don't even sell the actual phone case, I feel. They just have it in the background. Maybe it's like a teaser. I can't imagine that being very easy to make. Maybe they were like, oh my god, there's like so many different sizes that <laughs> it's not worth wow, it. Wow, they, they, like, they sell like task knives. A brass yeah. task knife is 120 bucks. Damn. Yeah. <clears throat> what is a task yeah. knife? Uh, it's like a, I guess it's like a pen knife kind of thing. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What is it called? A task knife. For for doing tasks, uh, all knives can be used for tasks. Um, it's not this. I should call um, it a quest knife. Yeah. 
Well, more tools. Oh, speaking of overly expensive tools that for people who don't deserve it because of their lack of skills. Uh-huh. <laughs> this is the, the fountain pen that I've been using. What is it? The pilot? Tell us the more. One, this is the, the yeah. Peter pen. So this is the one where you guys thought I drew this, but it's the box. Oh, oh right. Peter draws yeah. Peter pen. <laughs> yeah. So I, do you guys watch Peter draws? He's really, no. like, very interesting person. Huh. No. I yeah, see. he's very like chill and very calming, and then he does. So a he's lot like of the art. modern, modern Bob Ross. Yeah, he's, he's like a YouTube. modern younger Bob Ross. But you know, that would like, be that would just be Bob Ross's doodles. son. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think Bob Ross's son is like <laughs> has that vibe though. I think he has some videos right on YouTube where he like he tries to do what his dad did. Yeah, but I don't think it was very successful. <laughs> Bob Ross's son. Yeah. Oh. So tell us and isn't there this like, documentary Pen. on Netflix that's like um, something to do with like the dark side of Bob Ross or something like that, but it's more really? like the, the business. All oh, right. I look, it's so, the, yeah. so, so clickbaity. I know. I know. It's very clickbaity. <laughs> like, is was mm. Mr. Rogers as nice as I once said he is? Yeah. <laughs> <coughs> So yeah, it's by um, Narwhal Pens. So like they've been doing the style where it's like a acrylic with like a marbling of some kind in it. So it's very cool because each pen is by definition unique just because of the way they do it. Mm -hmm. Ooh. And then like it's a it's a piston fill. So which is my this is my first like real piston fill pen. Which by the way took me like like fifteen minutes to figure out how to fill it because <laughs> I was like dipping it in the inkwell and then I was like doo, 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 and I was like it's not coming up. What's wrong with it? Is it broken? Oh. But Wait, it turns out you have it? to like dip it. You have to dip it like all the way to like above the thing because I thought oh only the nib has to go in right to like the little hole or the line or something. But oh, like the first time the, you have to do it to all the way. The feeder, right? the, yeah, do, like all the yeah. way. Yeah. Yeah. They're not like down here until the metal part. Okay. So I was like, so I was like plunging for a uh -huh. while, and then even then, I don't, I couldn't get a full draw, so I don't think I just, I know how to do it properly yet. Do people always... watch more YouTube? But I don't know. I see a lot of people don't fill their fountain pens up fully because oh. I think a lot of them want to like uh interchange inks. Mm. So like, if you fill it too full, then it might take you a while to finish it. I see. Yeah, and I didn't even wipe the nib yet, but like it has a little narwhal on the top and engraved on there. But it's mm -hmm. hard it's hard to see. Is there a benefit to this kind of ink pen? refilling? Like why uh, the whole thing it's in? more environmentally friendly, I guess. Compared and like to? and and like a lot of these like ink if you want special colors, you cannot find cartridges for them anyway. So you end up oh, having no, to buy the whole I, bottle. I use this. This is the oh noodlers ink, noodlers yeah, and the bulletproof. It's really good. It doesn't smudge. I was kind of surprised. I, I, I thought it would be. I like someone else in Japan. Ooh. Oh, okay. That looks really elegant. It's a uh, looks like makeup. The... <laughs> it's the pilot one. Oh. oh. Yeah. Oh, it looks like perfume. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> wow. I think about yeah. I think about Jay Herbin one too. Why do you keep it in a box? I don't know. It, you know, it's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I mean, yeah, it's troublesome so... to open it every time. Yeah, I got a Jay Herbin one. Oh, I think this is the one that's like uh, teal and gold. They're like, you know, they all look like perfumes. Are you focusing? No. Uh kind of oh. see it. Yeah. A bit, yeah. So like there's like gold stuff at the bottom. Okay. So when you write oh. this like, they'll go shiny. Yeah, shiny. Oh, that's cool. And when you use this yeah. one, yes. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta use it before it dries up. This this stuff doesn't last forever. <laughs> it doesn't? I don't, I don't know. know. <laughs> no idea. Maybe you just no, add more water. But it's so shiny, like, I don't even know why I would use it for. Like it feels a bit excessive just to write down some notes. <laughs> <laughs> you can write a note to us. Yeah. Mm. A little postcard. 
it'll be worth yeah. It. So yeah, this card, uh, this uh, ink says the only eternal black ink, bulletproof on cellulose paper, yet washes off plastic with water. So okay, seems pretty good. Yeah, I like it so far. Oh, it be so careful pen? though, and not spill it. This pen. Yeah. It's, it was expensive. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Above a hundred dollars. No, no, no. Below hundred. Below hundred. Okay. Oh, it's okay. Yeah, that's reasonable. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that was that's sure. actually like a, a pen. Uh, well, it comes with a signed. This is the pen I oh. use. There's there's actually like a fountain pen I I I want. It's the La- <laughs> Lamy two thousand. Ooh. Uh-huh. Yeah. <clears throat> I used to think it was ex- I used to think it was expensive. I think it's like 150 US. Okay. Then I started mm-hmm. like uh buying keyboards. And I was like, oh man, these pens are actually quite cheap. <laughs> <laughs> well, but okay. keyboards have electronics. Are these like handmade? <laughs> no. It looks beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. So, but the, but the problem with having a pen like this is that, like, I cannot really go anywhere with it because I'm afraid I'm lo- I'll lose it. So yeah. it's like, only allowed to live at home, which is very stupid. <laughs> <laughs> so and also, like, what I, I'm all afraid of dropping it. Yeah. You get cheap one. I'm using, like, this uh, Saf- Lamy Safari. I think it's quite cheap. How much is that? Yeah, Five. I have cheap fountain pens. I think it's, like, 30 bucks. Ringgit? No, no, no. I think US. Oh. Yeah, so it's called mm. cheap. Uh, <laughs> yeah, no, but the expensive part is, and and then I was like, oh, and they were like, oh, would you also like to add this to your cart? So notebook? then I also got this like notebook. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, but but um, there are some notebooks that have papers that let you write uh, better. Like, yeah, it's, it's smoother. Yeah, so it's really good because like you know I've been like drawing in it and it doesn't bleed through. Mm-hmm. But what I really like is that it comes with like a little template. This is so simple. It comes with a little piece of paper with like a grid or like a dot line thing, and then like put it behind, and then you can trace. Oh wow! It goes through as well. You can kind of see it through. Yeah, it's like good enough where I'm like, oh okay, I can see what I'm doing with it. Mm-hmm. Hard to see with the camera. Yeah, but I feel I like I don't that. understand why moleskins and whatever don't come with this paper for like. Plain, so then I can use it as both plain and line. And I've been looking for mm. a notebook like this for a long time. You more, print the thing most skins and cut are thick, off. right? I think most skins are very thick paper. They do, but uh, I it don't depends. know. I mean, personally, I find that most skin paper is not so nice for fountain pens. Mm-hmm. At least in my experience with my pens, I find it a bit rough. Yeah, it's I think feathers, like, uh, right? Yeah, I think Rodia, Rodia's notebooks are the best. Mm-hmm. And the that lectern or whatever how oh, you yeah, yeah, yeah. It, yeah. that one's also yeah, really good. Yeah, that's pretty good too. Yeah. Oh, but the downside of this notebook is that it has no ribbon. So it's mm-hmm. like it has that one feature I want, but it doesn't have the standard notebook features, like a freaking whip ribbon to oh. like mark the page. Well, so you can use that band. I know. <laughs> this to mark the page? Yeah. Yeah, I guess so. But like sometimes I do this thing where I put the pen. Okay, this is another way to use the pen. Is you stretch it to this corner uh, and you can hold the pen. I see. No, you need the you need a pen Life clip. Pen. <laughs> <laughs> but pen clip is so bulky. I think I went through a phase where I even got like the band that like uh it's like a stretchy band where you can put the pen in and stuff. But I'm like, oh, oh you, so you you didn't like it? No. Oh. I thought that's so cool. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, so yeah, with this, like, you know, we've all been doing the uh, draw tober. Yeah. I wanted, I wanted to ask you, what, how come you suggested peach tober instead of? Oh, it's another friend suggested. Oh. So okay. I, and I already committed to that one. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> so... <laughs> That's fine. No, no. I'm just wondering whether there was a reason. Because I was like Googling no, peach tober. Like, it's and, because like... it's like, you know, oh, uh, it's actually was... not that famous, right? Yeah, it's not. I was like wondering why. Yeah. <laughs> It's cool. It gives us a chance to stand out. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. Um. Yeah, and then you know the whole <laughs> isn't there that whole controversy with the Inktober guy stole the content from. Uh, oh right, is that why they call it Drawtober? Alfonso. Yeah. Okay, let me pull up the drawings. Yeah. Because I have Alfonso's book, and then I'm I so I feel like no. You can't steal his content. 
Okay. Does this Peter Draws guy teach how to draw? Does he teach? Not really. Yeah. Well, oh. kind what does of. He do? He just, he, he, just... He, he talks about. So he's like, oh, you know, let's doodle together, and then he kind of explains a little bit. So, oh, like, so it's like a uh, free master class. It is, but it's like very sparse content. You have to watch a lot of it to get like a little bit of educational content. So <laughs> his is like more like class? psychological. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> 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 and it's not like he's gonna tell you like, oh, you know, you should draw like, you know, uh, you know, because like the thing is like this looks good because it actually has a three D ness to it, right? Because he does have good perspective, even though it looks like a mess. Mm -hmm. mm. He doesn't teach you that part, which is what I've been trying to learn from him. But he'll be like, <laughs> oh, you know, you can draw. I like to draw these waves, and then you draw it like this, or like, you know, in a very vague way, he describes what he's doing, but yeah. he doesn't like go through step by step. Yeah, it sounds hard because you don't know what he's thinking when he's like, I'm going to draw it this way, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So like, you try to copy, but you don't know where it's going to end up and then like, it doesn't work. Exactly. You know, and like, yeah, it's like, it's like, you know, things that look like a mess are actually really hard to draw or something. Or sometimes like, he would draw things very precisely with like, like mandala looking things and stuff with like a protractor and like draw that. Yeah. And then um, he'll do that live, but he'll tell you that, oh, I screwed up, but it's very subtle and I, I'm going to fix it. You can't tell where I screwed up <laughs> or something. I feel like tattoo artists do that too. They screw up, but they don't tell you. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> right? I don't know. I mean, they wouldn't it tell unique. you. It unique. Yeah. <sighs> so, can I see tomorrow? Yeah. Tell us about tomorrow your tulip. 10. I have your image on screen now. Oh, you do? Yeah. Is it the one with the smoke or just the tulip? Just the tulip first. Oh okay, it's a tulip. <laughs> no, when you, so, you drew it, I thought you were like gonna do emojis. I know I was gonna do emojis. Okay, uh, so right. at first I thought, <laughs> oh, what's the what's the minimum effort thing I can do to like participate? But yet only spend five minutes. Yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah, so then I was like, okay, let me look at the emoji because I I think um I have a friend who painted garlic. Uh -huh. It's like super realistic, super well done. So then I reacted with a garlic emoji. And, yeah. and then I looked at the garlic emoji closely and I thought, wow, actually the garlic emoji is really well drawn. <laughs> so, garlic emoji? And then I realized, yeah, if you look up the garlic emoji in Emojipedia or something, the, yeah. the Apple one. Okay. Um, yeah, compared to like the smiley faces, like oh, a lot of the things that are like based on nature are actually really well drawn. Um, so then I looked at the tulip and I also thought, oh, it's so pretty. So let me try to like draw like the minimum representation of a tulip based yeah. on that. Yeah. So so then I was I did think, oh, maybe I can fit like an emoji to every word. But the moment I hit smoke, I'm like, I don't want to draw a cigarette butt. Like that's just stupid. So, <laughs> you draw like a puff, so I abandoned right? that idea. Yeah. But like as you and I both learned, drawing a freaking puff is really hard. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, especially with ink, I just cannot get that lightness, <coughs> you know? Mm. I was trying to do that a little bit with the smoke. But after that, I looked up some tutorials and I realized I did it wrong. Like, there's like better ways of drawing smoke with ink. Yeah. It's like a lot more light. Mm -hmm. so, so I'm gonna like maybe follow one tutorial for the next one, which is Cloud. Mm. Like, the, the downside of Pinky Chober is like, the prompt's actually really hard in disguise, I feel like. You think so? <laughs> Yeah, like, smoke and like it's, it's, so, it's, hard. it's so simple. <laughs> it's like just one word, but then you. It's yeah. all one word, yeah. in Tova. Well. Yeah, but then I don't know. It, just, it seems so easy. I thought like, ah, this is so easy, you know. Yeah. But then like, there's so many ways <laughs> to approach, that, uh, you know. Yeah. Okay. I have a uh, Singip's tulip on screen now. Can mm. tell us about your drawing. Yeah. Oh, I actually drew this with my finger on Procreate. Uh huh. Oh, nice. <laughs> Why didn't yeah. you use the p Apple pencil? Uh, it was on my table. I was in bed. <laughs> Lazy. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> technology, man. Yeah. I tried. I don't know. I tried yeah. to do some shadows, some shade. Yeah. Yeah. No, I like mm -hmm. the fact you didn't use like a black line. And oh use, yeah, yeah. You use colored lines instead. Mm hmm. And I guess it looks like a tulip. Yeah. Did you look at the tulip emoji when you drew it? Or did you do it from memory? No, no, I do I do like Google like reference photos. Mm. 
I did do it a field of tulips, right? Mm-hmm. After drawing one, I was like, oh man, this is quite hard. <laughs> <laughs> so Can I you tried clone and procreate. Yeah, yeah. So I tried cloning it, but then it looks unnatural. It just looked like uh, it just looked very messy. Like it just looked like I just copy and paste a bunch of tulips together. <laughs> yeah, because you did. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you no, had to like to invert do... it, make some bigger, some I, I, small. No, yeah. So yeah. I tried to do like a. Uh, Depth of field, so I mean the ones at the back blur. Uh-huh. Yeah. But no, I, I I don't know. Like the the concept is there, the execution was bad. So I, like, <laughs> <laughs> I think that's the entire <laughs> essence of evening drama. The concept is there, the execution is poor. <laughs> <laughs> We're amateurs. That's fine. <laughs> I know. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. George, yours is one of our super nice. Yeah. Uh, so why? I was like trying to think of what to do. Then so you know recently I've been reading Berserk and I've been really inspired by the guy's artwork. So the thing about mm-hmm. him is like he spends a lot of detail like time doing details on mm-hmm. his manga that like people won't even see but he still mm-hmm. does it because like he's that meticulous or passionate about it. And so I thought mm-hmm. I'd try to apply that sort of a uh, thinking to the details in my work and Mm -hmm. like instead of you know just filling the whole background with like using a custom brush to create texture I decided to use lines to draw the texture Mm -hmm. and yeah so the idea well this is just a a field of like bones and then a tulip in the middle so the background is supposed to be rain but I haven't gotten the rain properly yet but, I yeah. thought it was like mm. a, I thought it was like a cave or something. Oh, I guess you could think yeah. it's a cave. Yeah, that works too. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, uh, so I spent a lot of time doing the 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 soil, like the little lines that no one mm-hmm. will see. But like when you zoom out, it like looks pretty cool. Like when yeah. it's small, like yeah, you don't really mm-hmm. see. But yeah, it actually took like. I spent like maybe two hours on this or something. <laughs> Just wow. drawing lines, yeah. But it was a fun process. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, uh, well, my artworks for this uh, Peach Toba is going to be heavily inspired by the artists of Berserk, lah, Kentaro, mm-hmm. Kentaro mm-hmm. Mura. Yeah. So you'll mm-hmm. see later. Okay. okay. Uh, number two. Oh. Uh, yeah, so this one was a picture of me vaping and uh well smoke right it's, yeah. it's not vape but whatever <laughs> so <laughs> i decided to uh redraw it in a uh, sim and color it in the same style well mm-hmm. it's obviously worse way worse than what the artist in berserk does but yeah it's my attempt at recreating his his style and um I like the eyes Oh yeah, this one uh, I reference uh, <coughs> one of uh, his pictures. Yeah, it was actually an old man like with a shisha kind of thing pipe, oh. and he he had loads of smoke too. So I use that as reference. That's how I got this. Yeah, this is a self portrait, right? It's a photo of me that I drew. Is that considered yeah. self portrait? <laughs> I don't know. It's not like I looked in a mirror to do it. You know. Oh yeah. yeah, but it's it's you, right? Because it yeah, looks yeah. like you. <laughs> it is me. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> well, I, I added a lot more facial hair than I normally do. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. And I was thinking, like, you know, would you wear like a shirt like that? I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah, I I have. A, I mean, you can see the photo. I'm wearing this shirt. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> a long sleeve in Malaysia. What? Uh, I was in Genting then. Mm. I think was it Genting? I can't remember. Was somewhere makes sense. Yeah, <laughs> Genting or Cameron Highlands. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <sighs> okay. Next up, we have uh, Kristen's tulip plus smoke oh, combination. Yeah. So so then I thought, okay, what if I try to do a Peter Draw style by like adding elements and then like building and then like adding doodles between them, so it looks more full. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah, I drew the smoke, which, you know, oh, like, 
doesn't look quite right. Um, I think it's just like the there's too many messy lines, and I should have like watched a tutorial to see what's the minimal representation. Mm-hmm. But then I thought, okay, maybe I can like rescue it if I add some more like blackness in the background to give it more like depth. Yeah, and I feel like it, it does make it slightly better. I think once I add more stuff, it'll work out a little better. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So that's my goal is to continue with little drawings until it fills up the whole page or something. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. A oh, nice way to execute it. Like initially, I mm-hmm. was thinking like for this drawtober inktober thing, I would like try to come up with a story, but I couldn't oh. be bothered. <laughs> yeah. I know some people do that. They make a whole comic, like dang, link, linking all thirty drawings. Yeah, that's incredible. Yeah. Okay, but uh, I love your drawing of the of the cloud. Wait, oh. yeah, yeah, it was cloud already, right? Uh, now wait, Singip has to talk about oh, his smoke first. Yeah. Okay. I don't know. It looks so bad. Singip smoke. Yeah. I don't oh. think it looks bad. I think this looks closer to the tutorial. I should have watched. I think, we were, I think we were looking at the same tutorial. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I think I've seen this tutorial before. Because I googled like, how to draw. A small person. No, I didn't. I didn't click on any tutorial. I just I. I Google how to draw smoke, and then it came up. Uh-huh. And I think I saw mm-hmm. like the thumbnail. I was like, "Oh yeah, I guess I can draw that way." Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So I think I was drawing smoke like a cloud, like a cigarette <clears throat> smoke. Yeah, and I was mm-hmm. like, like, "No way!" But the next one is cloud, like you know, it doesn't look the same. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I, I I stuck with this. Oh. Yeah. So I know. So I remember like the tutorial saying like, "Oh, um, so the base should be like heavy." Mm-hmm. And then, like as you reach the top, or the 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 wrist at the top should be like have a light, like lighter stroke. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So that's what, that's what I was trying to achieve. I think when you zoom out really far, it looks okay. <laughs> yeah. Well, I guess it it looks more abstract. <clears throat> mm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. Um, moving on. Uh, next one uh, with my drawing of the cloud. Mm. So, so yeah. cute. <clears throat> uh, I at first like I was thinking like just drawing clouds is gonna be boring. So I mm. thought of like putting something in the background and like yeah. Then the idea of doing a night sky with clouds and then oh a moon. Then obviously you have something sleeping on it. <laughs> And so yeah, it's a it's a cat sleeping on the moon, and uh, the clouds. So the you see the scribbles I did on the clouds. That's how mm-hmm. uh, Kentaro Mura does his clouds or some of the clouds. Oh, work. yeah, because it, it's manga, right? So it's black and white. He's mm-hmm. uh, limited by like uh, what he has available. So he uses a lot of pencil lines to create all these textures. And mm-hmm. like, yeah, I mean, <clears throat> it's hard to explain, but if you read this comic, you'll understand. And uh, so I tried, I like found pictures and then zoomed in and then tried to replicate what he did and notice, oh, okay, so he's doing round lines to like indicate some sort of fluffiness to the clouds. Mm-hmm. And so I did that. Yeah. And then the stars are just white dots on the. I like the texture on the moon too. It really looks very three D. Oh yeah, <laughs> that took a a while to do. I I did it a few times because like oh, initially when I wanted to do the texture, like I ended up putting too much, and then it mm-hmm. like made the moon look messy, and then yeah, mm. so redid it a few times. Uh, yeah, again, uh, it was fun doing all these small details that majority of people won't even see but mm-hmm. like i guess kind of like satisfaction as an artist like you did mm. it yeah and i guess if people notice then cool if not yeah uh. and uh lastly we have singip's red cloud that's on the screen now oh christine didn't yeah. do a cloud she just woke uh, up. I haven't done it yet. <laughs> she just woke oh. Up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but I wanted to like uh, also send like this new honey ritual graphic that I have on Amazon that has the same style of cloud. Mm-hmm. Oh, <laughs> as the singing, what singing through? 
Yeah,、uh, we're going for the Asian <laughs> Asian cloud. Yeah. <laughs> so like, I don't know. Like, also notice the new one, slogan. This one had a lot of, like curves. Yeah, I was like,、mm-hmm. I wasn't sure how to approach. I was like, trying to copy the drawing.、Mm-hmm. Then I remember last time, like one of those art books I bought, this thing like, oh, you should see things in shapes, right? Like, don't、mm-hmm. look at the whole thing. Yeah. So、mm-hmm. I was like, oh, so like different swirls of the clouds were like basically circles. Yeah.、Mm-hmm. So I counted like how many circles there it could be, and drew that many. Then it just like erased like the connecting lines、mm-hmm. and added a bit more curves, and then yeah, filled it. Okay.、So、it was a big brain moment. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's an interesting.、Uh, See, the thing about art is how like different people perceive or visualize like the same objects,、mm. and like it's like so interesting to see how how they like represent it, right? Like、mm-hmm. Kentaro Mura did it with like just crosses and like curved lines. And then, well, this one is like a bunch of circles with the lines erased. So、mm-hmm. and they they all represent the same thing, but like we all like see it differently.、Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. That's that's an interesting. Why is the cloud red?、Oh, It's from、yeah. Naruto. Yeah. Oh, oh, what? specifically, I didn't know that. Yeah. Well, what does it mean? It's a、uh, the symbol of like the bad guys. Oh. Okay. Oh. I did not know that. <laughs> that's actually, cool. Actually, think it's a. <laughs> actually, think it'll be a really cool tattoo. Uh huh. Yeah, I don't、yeah. know how you're gonna do it. Where、white. would you put it? I mean, it's quite small. It doesn't it doesn't matter where I put it? Put it on your penis. Yeah. <laughs> Ouch. I mean, you don't have to do white, right? You could do black and red if you want. I mean, because they wear black robes, and then there's a red cloud.、Mm-hmm. Oh right. Yeah. I guess you could black out your neck and then put the red cloud there. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, let me go and look for it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't even know. I'm pretty sure a lot of people have gotten it before. <laughs> oh, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> oh, so okay. So some people did a black outline,、mm-hmm. and、mm-hmm. then they filled it in with red, but they didn't fill it all the way to the edges. So like the skin is like the white. Yeah, the white. Yeah. Oh, some is really cool.、Mm. Okay, Kristen, I have your new, new tattoo inspiration. Your new logo out. Is it? Logo? Oh, oh, that is really cool. Um, it's like a I don't know. A, a graphic, because、mm-hmm. yeah, on Amazon when people shop, they usually don't read the text. I don't read the text either. So you essentially have to have like almost like a Instagram style like picture describing your product. Yeah. So um yeah, I just uploaded a whole bunch. So I just need to check it because some of them didn't take.、Mm-hmm. Um, uploading to Amazon is a very painful process. It's not like you press upload and it goes. Like sometimes it just doesn't go. Like you don't know where it went. <laughs> so. I need to double check it all, but yes, this is our new little panel.、Um, is that why, like, a lot of Amazon products, like all their photos have text in them? Yeah, because it's like I'm not gonna scroll down. Like I understand. Like I don't do that either. Okay, okay. So I'm trying、mm. to tell you briefly. Like this product is an Asian wellness tea for self care, and it's a whole new way to be kind to your body and your mind. This is a slightly more catchy <laughs> slogan than the previous ones I've tested with you guys. <laughs> I feel it's a bit too long. It is a little long. Why not、um, just be kind to your mind or something? You know, because <laughs> I I needed to like express that it's、uh, something different.、Mm. It's very hard for me to、Why、like because just be kind to your body、italics. and your mind is very. Because we have whole fruits and flowers, which is a very it's actually a pun that、uh, no one understands yet. <laughs>、uh, so yeah, in the next panel, I talk about the whole fruits and flowers. Okay. Yeah, well, I guess it's, it's a it's a non not very obvious pun. It's a good segue、um, into plugging Honey Rachel. Yes, so now we're available on Amazon, um, but if you want to use the、uh, the coupon code Evening Drama Ten, visit our、um, Shopify site at HoneyRachel dot com, so you can you can try out your new way to be kind to your body and your mind. <laughs> and then we also have a.、Uh, New Wave Coffee too. Let me pull up New Wave Coffee, which is also available on Amazon. Here we go. <clears throat> 
New Wave Flow State Coffee with L-theanine and raw cacao for creativity and productivity. Yeah, so if uh, you feel like trying some new coffee that will mm-hmm. improve your productivity and brain function and support creativity, um, check out New Wave Flow State Coffee. Use the URL below, you get 10% off your order. And uh, two bags gives you free shipping globally. Yeah. Yep. Um, you can see this episode was fueled by New Wave Coffee and that two episodes ago there was no coffee and I was really sad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm not plugging this drink, but I wanted to show you guys. Uh, oh, sparkling wow. water. That's so cool. It's just water. Wow. <laughs> called liquid over, death, but I love the design. Over marketed. I like that. Did it yeah, cost a lot? It's, it's not that bad. It's like a two dollars or something which is about the same price as what you expect for sparkling water Mm -hmm. and then the water comes from the alps wow and then it mentions like viking and whatnot and severed oh yeah it says here once cracked open no thirst is safe from liquid death (laughs) after ritually dismembering its thirst victims this brutal can of water uses the severed body parts of dead thirst to build itself a flesh suit which it uses (laughs) as a disguise to get a job in marketing but Liquid Death never took the job. It just murdered a bunch more thirsts instead. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, isn't that a try? <laughs> I know. So Sometimes cool. I do wish that I went with this kind of branding. It's like, that's yeah. just fun and stupid. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I'm going for wellness and care. <laughs> yeah, we we kill your ailments. Honey ritual. Yeah. <laughs> I know. I was like, oh, this is so metal. <laughs> I mean... Maybe for yeah. uh, like next year Halloween packaging or something. Just one month. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> or Can this we... Halloween, right? Oh my gosh. Are you guys dressing up? Are we dressing up for Halloween? No. Oh, we didn't last... do anything last year. Yeah. Didn't we? No, we have to do it. No. <laughs> I think it didn't land on the right day or something. No. Did we not no, do anything? I wore like a funny beanie. No. I think oh, we all funny. Okay, well, well, we all wore hats. It is on the thirty first. Yeah. Our stream. It's actually on Halloween, so I think we have no excuse. We have yeah, to dress we have up. no excuse. I have costume already. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> dress up, I don't feel so stupid. <laughs> okay, we'll dress up for Halloween. Oh, okay. uh, you guys can do whatever you want. So, viewers, you better tune in for our <laughs> Halloween special. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> yeah. Well, okay. It's uh, past an hour. Yeah. Uh, if you guys I'm have continue any questions, my decluttering. feel free to leave in chat. If not, um, yeah. Thanks for another episode, guys. All right. Yeah. See you. We'll continue uh, our Peachtober this month. Yeah. Yeah. Looking forward. Exactly. <laughs> uh, join us. Spend yeah. five minutes to draw something. Yeah, just draw something and share it with us or tag us on Instagram or whatever. <laughs> Well, what we don't even have a tag. Oh, you can tag oh. me, sing it while Kristen. <laughs> oh okay. Yeah. All right. All right. Bye, Thanks, world. Good night. Night. Bye bye. <laughs>